we have to switch these and put them in reverse order. I hope it doesn't screw everything up. I have to admit I had forgotten how frustrating charts could be. So, let's see. And then we have to do this again. Sorry, switch down here. Let's see. There we go. Excellent. Save and let's get out of this chart. Now we need to go to balance sheet. And balance sheet has not had the heading changed at all. So let's do this. Income statement, let's copy and click on the numbers. One, and I'm holding shift and arrow. Down to five and control C. And then I'm going to go to balance sheet and say, just click on one and control V. No, that overwrote data. So I'm going to control Z and undo. And click on one and insert. There we go. So that inserted the proper heading without overwriting the data. A trick to note. So we need to change some things. First of all, we can get rid of these. And I'm just going to hit delete instead of deleting the rows and just leave it like that for a second. We're going to call it balance sheet instead of income statement. Everything else is the same. Perfect. We could have selected the sheets and changed it all at the same time. Unfortunately, you don't know for sure that the spacing on each sheet is correct, so you might overwrite data. Better safe than sorry, in my opinion. Bold. Underline. I'm going to leave the formatting on this the way it is. This has taken me a long time so far. So we are going to, I'm sorry, we're on step number nine. And we're going to create a chart just like we did the last time. I understand we won't need all this data. Let's see if it works this time, if we learned anything from the last chart. Okay, let me regroup for the balance sheet. We're going to select assets only. I'm holding down the shift key when I did that. It just goes corner to corner. And then I'm going to hold down control and click these. And insert. Recommended charts. 3D stacked column. Okay. That looks good. We got a couple of problems though. 